Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, it's, uh, my name is Chris Elson from Global, and welcome to uh, our webinar this afternoon. It's my pleasure to uh, introduce you all to Cumulo this afternoon. And I have with me my good friend, Sean Donnelly, who will be um, teaching us all about Cumulo. Um, before we do that, though, I'd just like to explain a little bit about Global. For those of you who have never heard of the business, I'm sure most of you have. Oh, sorry, there we go. That's me and Sean. Fine pictures of us both. Sean is a technical evangelist at Cumulo, and uh, many of you already know me. I'm a senior product specialist at Global. Um, so just to, um, just to introduce Global a little bit, um, as many of you will know, Global is a um, uh, distributor working in the, based in the UK and in uh, California. Uh, in Los Angeles, and we, are, we specialize in distributing uh, equipment that's uh, specifically for the media and entertainment sector, specifically around um, equipment that sits around uh, cameras, um, such as um, uh, portable recording devices, small drives, and, um, and uh, on-set displays, as well as uh, enterprise storage systems, uh, of which we have a, a reasonable range. Uh, the business was founded about 25 years ago, and we currently have around 30 staff, mix of engineers, uh, designers, systems architects, um, and we, we actually sell into uh, around just over 70 countries uh, via over 2,000 resellers. So truly, truly a global global company. And um, just for thoroughness, I thought I'd share with you just some of the brands that we currently work with, and of course today we're we're working with Cumulo. Okay, so why did we become interested in Cumulo and uh, Cumulo interested indeed in us? Um, just some of the observations I've made over the last uh, few years that I've been working in large storage systems or selling and deploying large storage systems. There's definitely a move away from uh, what I'd describe as a block connection, typically fiber channel. A lot, many, many people are investing in IP switches and IP structures in order to, um, to run their data systems. I think that's a, a clear, clear change in the industry, a clear direction. Um, also, there's clear uh, direction towards uh, utilizing cloud, um, typically just as a, uh, an archiving uh, tier, uh, just moving data that you don't want to keep on-prem into, into a cloud. But I think, uh, I think the cloud offers a lot more possibilities than, than just, just that. Um, and I think there's a growing need for, uh, for flexibility. And I think that the agility of a of a, a media company to be able to uh, move quickly to support a new a new project or meet a, a client's requirements will be uh, a key factor in their profitability moving forward. Um, there's a lot of data around, and uh, as those data sets build, then it generates its own issues when you try to deal with data at at large scale. Um, and there's definitely a, uh, a growing need to have a, a, a secure and solid way of moving data around the planet globally, interacting with uh, artists in different countries to, to deliver projects. So, um, so why is Cumulo quite different for, from, from my perspective? Is, um, well, it's a new file system, and I, I think it's um, uh, quite an undertaking to, uh, to sit down and design a new file system. And, and uh, to, to identify the need for that file system, which, uh, which is definitely there. Uh, as you'll find out, it's a very different kind of file system. It works in a, in a different kind of way. Some of it is very familiar, but some of it is very, very cool. Um, it's what I describe a modern file system, a modern file system for modern approaches to the way we approach uh, data management and data storage. It's very agile. As you'll see, it's very responsive. Um, it's not an IT project to support it. Um, it currently has a great feature set, and that feature set is building, building all the time. And in terms of potential, from, from where I sit, it, it absolutely has the potential to replace um, many of the large storage structures that we see deployed around media and entertainment, and, and the file systems that, that indeed they operate under. Okay, so I'd like to uh, hand over to Sean now, who will take us all through some of the features and benefits of Cumulo. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much for the time and the quick introduction. Over the next 20 or so minutes, I will do my best to highlight 
why we feel Cumulo is a unique solution and why we feel why we would like you to look at it and consider it for part of your practice. Uh, I will do my best. Uh, there, are, there is a Q&A section, so a actual uh, applet that you could start to type in questions. I will do my best to check those at the end of each slide. I will be working both sections. If I cannot do that realistically, what we will do is take a few minutes at the end to answer any Q&A that you might have. But as I said, feel free to type in your questions as we go. Again, my name is Sean Donnelly. I am a technical evangelist for Cumulo. Uh, that is a really fancy way of saying channel essay. So that being said, we're going to jump right in. Chris, I tend to get shot out of a cannon with these things and start talking very quickly. Uh, if I get too out of hand, please, please feel free to jump in for the crowd and slow me down. Fair enough? Awesome. It will be my pleasure. Perfect. Thank you. So media is driving uh, storage growth and uh, need for higher level performance. So what, why is that happening? So what we're seeing is higher res content and just an increased amount of content is, reinfor is reinforcing the need for massive, secure, and resilient file storage. This need is, is being this need is starting to be satisfied with scalable hybrid on-prem solutions and cloud-based solutions. Uh, that is where we feel we have a unique advantage as, as Cumulo. I will get into that as we go, but we do run on-prem and in the cloud. Uh, the code is so similar that you could actually replicate between the two. Higher performance and higher capacity workflows are driving unexpected storage growth. And then the other big thing is SSDs are becoming incredibly cheap. They are starting, we've, we're starting to predict over the next two to four years that they will actually, SSD will actually be cheaper on a per gigabyte basis than spinning disk. Uh, hopefully that will hold true. Uh, but it is starting to change the way people think about Flash and how they use it in their production workflows. Uh, the problem is this growth is creating, creating an issue for most vendors. Uh, typically, uh, this is both from a, a, a petabyte scale level and an inode scale level. Typically, over the last few years, the only solution that most vendors have been able to provide for billions and billions of files within a file system is an object store. The, the great thing with an object store is they're great at being object stores. They're great at providing uh, eventual consistency across geographies. They're also good at, very, at file locking, but they're not very good at being file systems. They're not pro good at pro providing POSIX controls. They're not good at providing the directory structure that a file system does. The great news is Cumulo feels it's in a unique position to provide the, a file system for these massively scalable workloads. Let me check questions real quick. No questions yet. Awesome. So by creating, so how is Cumulo changing the game for, for creative production teams? By creating great software that ties node-based hardware together into a single mount point that can present billions of files over standard protocols and work natively in the cloud, Cumulo is providing creative production teams with options that they have not had in the past. Uh, over the next few slides, I'm going to go into what are those, those advantages are and eventually how customers are, are taking advantage of those things. So Cumulo brings media and entertainment into, a, into this decade and beyond. So first of all, our Flash First architecture provides an incredible responsiveness to all media applications. Uh, we simply, we have, we have taken the SSD layer and created a, a essentially a write cache and a read cache that allows us to run completely in user space and essentially abstract the hardware that is below it. We run natively in AWS and GCP. This allows for full environments to be spun up quickly, allowing teams to work anywhere in the world. Our use of NVMe architectures is allowing us to support some of the most demanding workloads. Our, our node-based architecture allows for simple scalability to support both performance and capacity needs. Uh, we are scalable to 18 quintillion files and nine exabytes with enterprise-grade enterprise data protection features, including quotas, snapshots, and real-time replication. Also, we have built the file system to be to have real-time analytics built in. Not only are they real-time via the UI, these analytics are also accessible via API. So simple integration starts with productivity. So how do we do this? 
we, we simply, we are a distributed file system that takes advantage of all, all the native protocols that customers are typically used to dealing with. So we start with a node-based architecture that runs enterprise-grade hardware. Uh, we work with standard switching, so 10, 40, 25, 50, 100 gig networking, soon to be, soon to be 200, S simple top-of-rack switching, and then we work over native protocols, so SMB, NFS, FTP, and a RESTful API. We also support HTTPS. Uh, we, our integration, because of these things, because we run over standard protocols, because we are a distributed file system, we integrate very easily with existing applications, so existing media asset managers, other production workflow applications. Uh, there is no special switching, no special protocols, no special client drivers. Essentially, we fit within what they currently do now. So super fast responsiveness and, and, and accessibility. So we know, that in, we know that in this industry, production deadlines are demanding. One of the things we're doing to satisfy these new uh, 4K, 8K workloads is, the cost, is we've decided to take a, a node-based architecture and implement NVMe throughout. What I mean by that, NVMe is simply a protocol. This protocol, it, it's, it's to replace the SCSI protocol. So essentially, flash drives sit in a node, and they are capable of way more IOPS than a typical SSD drive, than a typical hard drive. Uh, unfortunately, the SCSI protocol gets in the way. We have implemented NVMe throughout. We are one of the few architectures that implements NVMe throughout, and it allows us to meet these high-end production workloads. It also allows for super fast recovery times and allows us to scale into the hundreds of nodes. So creative teams can work anywhere in the world. This is actually a what I feel is a big advantage for us, especially in the media space. We have several pieces of software that will allow us to, to take an entire production environment and spin it up in the cloud. This way, if a customer, ha in, in, if ha if a customer has a production site in LA and they would like to hire v uh, artists in either New York or London or somewhere else in EMEA, they do not have to provide them with their own hardware. Essentially, they could spin this hardware up in the cloud use our native replication tools to move data around and allow these people to work anywhere, anywhere in the world. Bear with me while I check questions real quick. So AF, is AFP supported? I will double check that the answer right now is no. I will check to see if there's anything saying in the future or if I am correct, but we will get back to you on that. Scale across on-prem and or multiple cloud environments. We are again, we are a software only, a software-based architecture, allowing us to run on any qualified hardware underneath. That qualified hardware also includes AWS and GCP nodes. Uh, managing growth is store, uh, managing growth is simple with Cumulo because of this node-based architecture. You can simply use industry-grade hardware either from Cumulo or HPE. Uh, you could also purchase Cumulo through Fujitsu, uh, allowing you to take those whichever node type works best for you and the economics that work best for you and allowing you to add those one node at a time and allow you to scale both performance and, and capacity on demand. So our analytics, allowing you to take control. A lot of fear in running in the cloud is what if I have an application that runs away? What if I have a user that runs away and starts using data in a way, using content in a way that I've not designed the system for? Essentially, I will be hit with a massive bill. One of the things we realized very early at Cumulo was that if we were going to release a node-based architecture that scaled to 18 quintillion files and nine exabytes, we needed to build in analytics from the beginning. Otherwise, we were sending customers a system that essentially had a loaded gun that was pre-pointed at their foot. We knew we needed to build in analytics from the beginning. Those analytics not only include who's writing where, what they're writing, what they're deleting, how quickly they're doing it, how much IOPS, and how much throughput is hitting the system. 
not only that, it is all real time. It is all available via API and all this data we could actually push to syslog or Splunk servers. Again, if something's wrong, we need you to know in real time immediately as quickly as possible. So step into the future with Cumulo. Cumulo helps organizations scale in ways that both SAN and traditional cannot, NAS cannot. Cumulo can run both in your data center as well as in the public cloud when and where you need it. So whether you need storage or burst computing, virtualized workflows or archive, or archive data to the public cloud, Cumulo will always be there to meet your needs. Cumulo for broadcast. So speed, speed collaborative, we, we speed collaborative workflows to meet tight broadcast deadlines. Essentially, we have created a, a, a way for customers to scale what they need, when they need it, and provide services to who they need to provide it to. The ability to scale this work, the workload in the cloud is a massive advantage for us. Uh, we do this, it allows people to use EC2 burstable compute in a real way. This is really showing itself in the media space as it's one of the industries that could actually leverage burstable compute. How do we help with this? One of the software, software pieces we provide is called Cloud Studio. It works with Teradici to be able to spin up a full production system for an artist, allowing them to edit, transcode, uh, essentially manipulate content in ways that they normally would by simply using their laptop to VPN into the cloud. The way this works is they could VPN, they have a laptop, they could VPN into either a Windows station or a Linux station and then access all the applications that they need to from there. This allows these, these, and these artists to actually work from wherever they want and it also allows the ability to move that data within the cloud and even replicate back to on-prem for DR if needed. We also have Cloud Render and Cloud Burst. These are other pieces or the packages that leverage our API to actually provide these services. So in a render environment, it will allow you to not only spin up a Cumulo cluster, replicate the data to the cluster, but it will also allow you to spin up and spin down the compute needed to finish that render job. And then because we are, have an API, we are starting to see our API ecosystem grow. So one of the, one of the people that initially grab onto this API and feel that we were a good fit within their environment is Axel AI. So Axel AI is, is an AI-driven media, man, media management software. They deliver a complete solution for tagging, storing, managing, and, and automating search of all content for media within media for entertainment organizations. This partnership enables film and television studios, broadcasters, pro production houses, and corporate video production departments to leverage the company's intelligent hybrid cloud solution and powerful media management to accelerate media workflows. This is a massive advantage for us as Cumulo, as what we're starting to see is companies that do media asset management who provide services to the customer are starting to build Cumulo into their, into their workflows which is fantastic. So the Cumulo product family, the way we do this, again, every single node type that we have will include some complement of SSD and or if you choose some complement of HDD. So starting with AWS GCP, these are simply on the workplace. You select the number of nodes you want, you select the storage type you want, the API will kick off and go and build this in the background. For on-prem, we have our active archive solution. This is the highest amount of SSD to SSD, providing the most economical workspace possible. This is typically used for active archives. For mixed, mixed mode, uh, for mixed workload systems, we have our C series. This will be a slightly, there will be slightly more SS, a slightly higher SSD ratio to HDD ratio. Again, giving you the per terabyte cost that people are looking for while providing a more performant environment. And for our most critical workloads, ones that require incredible throughput, incredible IOPS, we have released our all NVMe systems. Again, these numbers are based on, fifth, on four node clusters, but we currently support up to 100 nodes in a cluster. Again, there are no theoretical limits. The, the limits are 18 quintillion files and nine exabytes. But right now, those, 
those are rein the, the, the true limitation would be the size of the cluster. Currently, it's 100 nodes. We are working on 150 nodes right now. Uh, I will tell you that the limitation there is how quickly you can rebuild once you start hitting, in a node-based architecture, once you start hitting 100 nodes and above, you need to start increasing, you need to start planning for multiple failures. The great news is with the all NVMe systems, especially as the cost is coming down, the rebuild times are incredibly fast. It's providing a new level of availability within uh, media environments. So some customer use cases. So this studio does live action and, and CGI work with a large number of artists over multi-protocols. Again, we support both NFS and SIFS, but not only NFS and SIFS, we will provide cross-protocol cross permissioning, allowing users to work whichever, over whichever protocol makes more sense to them. With nearly 11 billion operations a day, Cumulo has become critical to this customer. Though they do not have the high file count of some major studios, and again, if you look at that file count, there are five plus billion. That is actually a small, a somewhat small file count for us. Uh, they can, they, the content they do have is more actively used throughout the day. This is a great use case for our analytics package. It allows them to see who's using what and when, and pr provides them the ability to forecast what they need in the future. Again, this is a creative studio which houses over 200 modeling, animation, lighting, and visual effects, and com composting artists, along with full uh, service production, design, creative, and management teams. They use Cumulo for VF VFX rendering. Uh, again, the analytics are incredibly important to them. So this is a, content, a customer that's using us for content delivery and interactive media. The most critical thing to them is not just availability of the cluster, which is important, but they are using us because we have enterprise grade data protection features. So not only quotas, but snapshots and replication. They have said in the past that our snapshot feature has saved them several times. The, they have gone near to, near to production. Somebody has made an, an, made an edit that actually would have left them where they couldn't go to air, and they have used snapshots to actually uh, save themselves from their own errors, which is a great a great use use case for us. So online gaming service with millions of active users. This is not a classic media use case, uh, but. What we're finding is because of the way they do business, they cross over into multiple categories. Right now, this customer is using us as part of their Splunk workload, so user directories and what's going on in Splunk, so all of their Splunk raw data is getting sent to a Cumulo file system. That leads to us being part of a heavy analytics and machine workload environment. Again, it allows us, the architecture allows us to scale into what would traditionally be media, but also things that are tend to fall into different categories, a mixed use case environment. And then the last one I, I will leave you with before I hand it back over is Fuse FX. When I was interviewing at Cumulo, this was actually the use case that made me say, you know what, I want to be part of this company. Fuse FX is an outsourced renderer. Essentially, they have an on-prem Cumulo cluster with a small amount of render nodes. They are hired to do a rendering job. They will ingest that job into their local Cumulo cluster. They will do some light edits there. They will then spin up an, a, a Cumulo cluster in AWS. They will use our, the replication engine to move the data into the cloud because ingest costs are very cheap. They will spin up the number of EC2 compute nodes to do the job that in the time that is required. The great news is in the cloud, whether it's one CPU for 1,000 hours or 1,000 CPUs for one hour, it's roughly the same cost. They will do the render job. They will check it there. They will use the replication to only move out the result, right, because egress costs are very, very expensive. And when they are done, they completely shut down the cloud environment. It is the first time I've heard a vendor tell a story using the cloud not just as a bit bucket or a place where data goes to die, but as an actual operational both time and money saving use case. On that note, I will hand it back over. Thank you for your time. Okay, so uh, we kind of think that uh, Cumulo has the uh, opportunity to kind of change the nature of facilities. Um, and uh, media facilities. And uh, we kind of see that already happening. There, there are 
um, a bunch of companies um, that are household names at Cumulo who have already invested in Cumulo um, for some of, the, uh, some of the key reasons that Sean mentioned. Some of these businesses are able to literally split, spin up uh, new facilities, uh, new edit rooms at will um, uh, using uh, AWS. And th those, uh, those spin ups can be all scripted. So you don't even need to be that kind of like uh, IT um, uh, clever to, to be able to do that. And then, of course, tear them down as soon as that project is finished. And we, we kind of think that that's, that's the nature of the beast moving forward, really. And as I say, there are some major household companies in the States that are already adopting that kind of, uh, that kind of approach to, to their media businesses. Um, so as a, as a distributor, um, the kinds of things we can uh, offer you moving forward from this presentation would be we're very, uh, very happy to come and visit you uh, at your premises and give you um, uh, more of an in-depth view and more of an in-depth discussion about what Cumulo can, uh, can offer. And, and nicely, there are Cumulo uh, sales engineers and, uh, and sales guys based in the UK so that's, uh, and, and indeed in other countries in, in Europe. So that's a very straightforward thing for us to do. We can, we can absolutely um, do online or, uh, or turn up you know, in, in person to, uh, to your customers and join you with, uh, with those uh, initial presentations to, to your customers to explain exactly how Cumulo might enhance their, uh, their businesses moving forward. Um, so it's so a very keen, keen to do that either online or uh, said in, in person. So I don't know, uh, Sean, whether there were any questions from, uh, from the audience. Uh, I'm actually answering them in chat right now. Ah, oh, okay, fantastic, cool. Um, but of course, uh, both myself and, and Nick are, are available. Our contact details are on the screen now. Uh, I'm sure many of you will have them anyway. Um, we are available to, uh, to um, ask any questions of and uh, support you in any way we can. Um, and I, I think that's, that pretty much wraps it up. So um, thank you very much for your time in attending this afternoon. Um, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you about Cumulo in the future.